ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐஆம் பாலாஜி ராவ் வெல்கம் டு பிஆர் மேக்ஸ் கிளாஸ் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி வில் லேர்ன் த டெஃபினிஷன் ஆஃப் ஐடென்டி ஃபங்க்ஷன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஐடென்டி ஃபங்க்ஷன் அண்ட் வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு ட்ரா த கிராஃப் ஆஃப் ஐடென்டி ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஃபஸ்ட் வி வில் லேர்ன் த டெஃபினிஷன் ஆஃப் ஐடென்டி ஃபங்க்ஷன் எ ஃபங்க்ஷன் எஃப் ஃப்ரம் செட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ரியல் நம்பர்ஸ் டு ரியல் நம்பர்ஸ் டிஃபைன்ட் பை எஃப் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு எக்ஸ் for any x belongs to r is called identity function in this definition what you need to understand first thing this function is from where to where this function is from set of all real numbers to real numbers and how the function is defined the function is defined as f of x equal to x for any real x you can take x as any real number for example f of x is defined as x na you see here f of 1 is what f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is what f of 2 is 2 you take x as any real number the function is defined as f of x is x for example f of minus 1 is what f of minus 1 is minus 1 f of 100 is what f of 100 is 100 f of 2.5 is what f of 2.5 is 2.5 f of 3 by 2 is what f of 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 you take any real x for any x belongs to r f of x is defined as x we will try to understand this identity function with an example you observe this example is it is a function or not every element of first set is used it is used only once so it is a function now we need to check this function is identity function or not when we say this function is identity function you see here f of 1 is what from the diagram you observe the diagram f of 1 is what 1 you see f of x equal to x form what is f of 2 from the diagram f of 2 image of 2 is 2 what is f of 3 image of 3 is 3 f of minus 3 is minus 3 what happened here here this function satisfies this condition f of x equal to x can we say this function as identity function yes f from a to b is a identity function now we will learn what is domain codomain range of a identity function what is domain of identity function we know that f is a function from set a to set b then what is the set a set a is called domain this is the definition of domain what about set b set b is called codomain these are the things we learn in the definition of domain and codomain of a function here this function is from where to where set of all real numbers to real numbers so what is the domain of this function you please observe here what is the domain of this function domain is a set of all real numbers for identity function domain is set of all real numbers what about codomain what is codomain you observe here f is a function from a to b set b is called codomain na? so this is a function from r to r what is codomain of identity function codomain of identity function is all real numbers what is range what do you know about definition of range we know that range is set of all images of domain set set of all images of domain set what is domain here domain is all real numbers as per the definition f of x is x when x is a real number its answer is also real number try to understand so here what is the range of the function range of the function is set of all real numbers so it is very easy to remember domain codomain range of identity function domain is set of all real numbers codomain is set of all real numbers range is also set of all real numbers now we will learn how to draw the graph of identity function you observe here i consider a coordinate axis and i consider some x values for respective functional values we will see when x is 0 what is f of 0 as per the definition f of 0 is 0 what is f of 1 as f of x is x f of 1 is 1 okay f of 2 is 2 f of 3 is 3 f of minus 1 is minus 1 f of minus 2 is minus 2 f of minus 3 is minus 3 why because f of x equal to x if i want to draw the graph i need to plot these points you see here 0 comma 0 where is the point 0 comma 0 you can observe here this is the point 0 comma 0 
point 1 comma 1 where will be the point 1 comma 1 here this is the point 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 see you know how to plot the points on the graph this is the point 2 comma 2 this length is 2 units this length is 2 units next point is 3 comma 3 3 comma 3 this is the point 3 comma 3 this length is 3 units this length is also 3 units minus 1 comma minus 1 we know that it lies in third quadrant minus 1 comma minus 1 okay minus 2 comma minus 2 it will be here minus 2 comma minus 2 next minus 3 comma minus 3 you will get this point here minus 3 comma minus 3 now you join all these points we'll see what happens you just observe i'm joining all these points what happens if i join all these points what happening i'm getting a straight line which is passing through origin so this is the graph of identity function what you observe in this graph the graph of identity function is a straight line which is passing through origin i'll give it as a note point graph of identity function is a straight line passing through origin and lies in first and third quadrant you can observe this is the graph of identity function it is a straight line passing through origin and it lies in first quadrant and third quadrant in this class we learn the definition of identity function and we learn what is domain codomain range of identity function and we learn how to draw the graph of identity function in next class we will learn the definition of modulus function domain codomain range of modulus function and we will learn how to draw the graph of modulus function